Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 14 of the APB podcast. In this week's episode, we're going to be hearing from Kit Kat again, who's going to take us through some of the Enforcer lore, uh, and we're going to be meeting characters like Mayor Jane Derren and the Praetorians, so I guess without further ado, enjoy. Um, for the Praetorians, uh, they're run by a man called Justin Tang. Uh, he is a, probably a business genius, I suppose. Uh, very, very astute man. Very knowledgeable. Has made uh, serious, uh, serious amounts of money within the city. Uh, the Praetorians themselves are really, I suppose, it's almost like a kind of a corporate police force. They're backed by serious corporate money. They're very, very well equipped. Uh, the uh, but they, but there's a lot of so, I suppose suspicion of them because the because of the sort of corporate masters, uh, and there are definitely secret agendas uh, about how the Praetorians are approaching things. And uh, there's a level where Justin Tang, for instance, at some point would like to be you know essentially the only sort of law enforcement in, within the city, uh, and have the Praetorians be that. So uh, for the Prentice Tigers, they're uh, they're essentially a bunch of jocks. Uh, they're the kind of guys who like like to hang out on a beach and have kegger parties. And if you imagine that it's the you know it's almost like the prom king, prom queen, uh, those styles of characters. Uh, if they uh, you know if they made it into law enforcement, uh, this is this is the, the group that they kind of are. They've all come from very wealthy families, uh, particularly from an area called Prentice, and uh, really their their aims and objectives are, in a way, almost slightly more modest than some of the other groups. Where what they want to do is really protect their home area, but in order to do that, they really have to push well out beyond its boundaries. And uh, so you know. Um, so it's it's almost uh, it's almost American football players, parkour experts, that type of thing, uh, you know, fighting crime in a way. Speaking confidentially, music wants to marry me. Over threshold scary me, but out the gate I got the bring up. Yup, yup, I'm about to call the shots, block before you toss it off. Faster than the speed of thought, plotting out with Molotov, so Mazel tough, bottoms up, you drink what I just fucked up. So on the enforcer side, the enforcer faction is run by a character called Jane Darren. Uh, quite a lot of the story begins with her father, John Down, uh, about 15 to 20 years ago, something like that. And uh, he was the original mayor of San Paro. At the time that he was uh, in power, um, the, the city itself was much more, uh, it was more of a kind of a, I suppose, a sort of a, you know, a more of a kind of a prohibition style Chicago. At the time, there was a lot of crime families, crime bosses, uh, you know, a very corrupt police force, uh, that kind of thing. And uh, so he'd already been mayor for a little bit and was getting ready to put in, pu push through some reforms into his third term uh, when he essentially gets assassinated and Jane Darren is there um, at, uh, wit and witnesses the whole thing. He's assassinated by somebody called Luke Wiskawi and Luke Wiskawi is the head of the criminal faction. She decides to try and push some of these charities, ends up getting a few interviews. Uh, she's a very, very sort of charismatic, very forceful individual. Uh, people start to listen to what it, sh what it is she has to say. Uh, there's a particular interview she has with uh, a, a sort of a representative of the mayor, where she basically uh, pounds him into the earth uh, in terms of you know coming up with some you know some some great and insightful things about San Paro. Uh, she starts to get noticed. Various people decide that you know they'd be very keen for her to move into politics. Uh, she's quite young, so a lot of them would really see her, I suppose, as an opportunity uh, to try and uh, gain some power in San Paro, and she could be like, a very convenient figurehead for doing that. So, um, so one of the things she does there is uh, she uh, basically announces uh, running for mayor uh, and on the ticket for the Conservative Unionist Party, which is one of the sort of political parties in San Paro, and then uses the information in those papers to essentially bring down uh, a large proportion of the sort of, uh, the sort of ruling political figures, basically. There's a massive uh, sort of fallout from that, and um, uh, afterwards, uh, essentially she, she gets in on a landslide and becomes the mayor of San Paro. So thanks to Kit Kat for taking some time out of his busy schedule to talk to you guys. Now, next week's episode is going to be a Q&A special, so if you guys have got any questions on anything to do with APB at all, send them through to podcast at apb.com and the best ones will get answered in next week's episode. So until then, see you later. I, I know how to I, I know how to use any fucking gun that there is. Any weapon there is. I will not stand for this kid. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill somebody. <laughs>